Hello, everybody. Today we're going to show the linear pattern tool, um, which is basically I drew one of these parts, one of these features, which took me quite a bit of time. And then after I did that, I could just push them across all the way through. Um, so let me delete and get started. All right, so if I delete the pattern, that's all. Well. So I'm here. I've got this one part, this one feature. I've got the cylinder and I've got the extruded text. So there's the cylinder, there's the cylinder, and there's the text. All right, so if I want to do the feature pattern, um, it works like this. It's this tool right here. Um, and I pull down and I can a linear pattern, a circular pattern, or a curved pattern. So I'm going to show the linear pattern right now. So click on that. And then, you know, the trickiest part is this part pattern right here. When I, we're, we actually have two parts. We're doing the part and we're doing the wash and the cylinder. So we're going to change this to feature pattern. And then feature pattern, I have to go and select what I want. And actually, I can come over here and I can say I want that feature. I want that feature. So I'm using my feature menu over here to kind of select what features in my pattern. And then the second thing I do is pick the directions. I go in the direction box and I just pick a direction. So I can pick on this direction or this direction. I pick a direction and then I say uh, distance, how far, and how many I want. So actually, let me say how many I want first. I can say four. I hit enter. And I hit four. You notice it's not quite centered. So here I can go into my distance and kind of mess around and, and try it. And 1.2 is a little bit far, so I could try like 1.8, 1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1